Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to react to Nickelodeon Spongebob Squarepants Suicide Nation Hijacking Incident 2009 actual footage. So it's finally here! After I read the entire story about it from Koshia's Lost Episode Wiki Fandom. I'm pretty sure the article is removed somewhere around 2021 or 2022. And yes, I'm all alone right now with the lamps on and the lights off. And I'm pretty sure after watching this video, Spongebob will go to my house and stare at me with bloodshot eyes and a creepy smile. <laughs> Anyways, before I begin, please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell. And if you're new here, please watch my previous videos and share to your friends, family, neighbors, and co-workers, and so on. I have three TikTok pages, Dogsa, Zack and ZZ TikTok, and of course, Zack the Nerd. Anyways, I have Snapchat, but I will say the name soon. I have Star Maker, and I will say the profile name. It's Zach434. I made 40 cover songs, okay? And all of them are old. Some of them are new. Anyways, let's not focus on that shit. Let's focus on this video, which lasted for almost 8 minutes. The real length is 7 minutes and 58 seconds. Alright, so it says here, back in 2009, Nickelodeon hosted an event called the Ultimate Spongebob Sponge Bash from July 17th to July 19th, which aired old and brand new episodes non-stop. During the event, users on forums claimed that the channel was hijacked and displayed threatening messages and creepy scary images in an attempt to get Nickelodeon shut down. Okay, so this is based on a true story. Thankfully, some of the users release the actual footage of this incident okay let's begin Okay, it says here, videos were posted on these forums but all evidence would mysteriously be deleted, including threads themselves, and the incident was mostly forgotten. For a while, these videos were lost media, but some clips resurfaced, and as of now, we discovered four recordings, but it is speculated there were six, which the last two will probably never be recovered. Look, I'm not alone in this because I have two dogs, one Yerky, who is now two, and one poodle who is now one. I have two cute dogs here in my house. Eventually, this isn't my house. This is my family house. My parents' house. And this isn't a house tour video. This is a reaction video. Okay? Okay, recording number one, July 18, 2009, 11.05 a.m. The paper skips to help wanted halfway through the episode and a weird message is displayed on screen for a few seconds. Note, very low quality. Captions are recommended during the part where the message is shown. Okay. I was, wait, July 18, 2009, that's two months before I turned three. And... I watched Wawawee before because Wawawee aired on February 5, 2005 to July 30, 2010. And it aired on ABS-CBN. I used to be a fan of Willy the Villain May until 2020 because the friendly rival between three stations here in the Philippines, ABS-CBN 2, TV5, and GMA7. And do you know how many times Willy transferred? He did three plus one because of all TV with Senator Manny Villar and then he went back to TV5 so that's five times and I don't like it I was uncomfortable at the time because all right so number one I watched what we on ABS-CBN before and then I went to TV5 and then I went to GMA then I stopped because we did a video transferred to all TV and then he went back to TV5. 
look, it's kind of stupid, okay? But that's his choice. If that's his choice, I stopped. And I don't want to talk about it. That's shit. Also, kids, if you're 12 and below, you're not allowed to watch this. Because, yeah, there is gore, scary scenes, but you can hear me swearing in the background. So, only 13 year olds and above can watch this video. Anyways, let's begin. Um, okay, you're showing the evidence, but the quality is a bit low. Is it 144p or 360p? Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Stop. I remember this scene, but it's from a different episode of the show where Spongebob and Patrick invaded Squidward's privacy as he takes a shower. It became a meme, guys. When you edit a character budging into Squidward's house, he will scream. Okay, what's that noise? What the fuck is that noise? What? I don't understand. Look, man, the quality is low. I, I I don't understand. What the what, look? Are you using Sony or Canon? If you're using Sony or Canon, um, better if you use 1080 because you are using a 144 or 360p camera. 4K didn't exist until late 2010s. Okay. Okay, next one. Oh, I know this song, but I won't say it. After the clip was posted on the United SpongeBob forums, tons of people were confused and wanted to record the rest of the event, just in case anything else happened. Okay. Recording 2. July 18, 2009, 6.16pm, Help Wanted skips 2 minutes before Spongebob wakes up. Another message appears. Okay, let's see what happens next. Ah, this is a better quality. I'm pretty sure it's around uh, 360p or something like that. Anyways, let's focus on this shit. Whoa! I want to have an alarm clock like that. What? Don't test me, Nickelodeon. Stop airing these evening episodes. What? Wait, 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 wait. What's this here? Wait, wait! Oh! Okay, that music in the background, I'm not sure it's from Spongebob, but that reminds me from a horror movie, okay? It's like I'm in some sort of a abandoned museum, and I'm all alone. It's 3 in the morning, and I'm roaming around the entire museum all alone, okay? And this is not a reference to another museum, okay? It says here, the error screen allegedly was on screen until 11.30 p.m., when SB-129 aired, everything was normal for the rest of the evening. Everyone at this point knew this was a real hijack, but most people assumed Nick had kicked the hijacker out while the error message was on screen. Okay, so... Here goes the fun, I guess. Because, look. I'm not interested in criminal activities. Not just hijacking, especially hacking. Hacking is the most stupid thing, okay? And I'm gonna say, a, uh, okay, I'm gonna tell you a tale. It's a creepypasta one. And this is Spongebob related. 
There was this kid who was a fan, died from drowning from a cruise trip. He or she just wanted to see SpongeBob even though he's not real. He just want to see him in person. The truth is, you can't enter the fictional world. There is no portal, okay? There is no portal. Portals don't exist. I'm sorry to say this. I know you have a great imagination. I don't want to offend you and your imagination, but portals don't exist, okay? It's fictional. Fictional means not real. Do you know what exactly happened to the kid who drowned during a cruise trip to see SpongeBob? He used his imagination because he knows that SpongeBob is in there. But the truth is, SpongeBob didn't exist. He's just on TV. So this happened a month or maybe a few months after the third anniversary of the show. That was around 2002 or 2003. Anyways, let's continue. Okay, that music reminds me I'm in a horror film where I was walking on... Okay, I'm stuttering and stuttering at the same time. Wait, I'm sorry. Oh, I read this one, sorry. Okay, but some, oh, sorry. But some still left the recorder on during the night when they captured this. Warning, this is where it gets very disturbing. The images shown are not suitable for kids. Continue watching at your own risk. So to everyone out there, if you have a younger sibling, please don't watch it with him or her if your younger sibling is 12 and below please don't watch this but if your older sibling is 18 and above you're allowed to watch this footage okay if you're like 15 to 18 and your older brother is 18 plus you two are allowed but if you have a younger sibling please don't okay 12 and below are not allowed to watch this seven minute and 58 second video there was this video where a guy show one of the lost episodes of spongebob squarepants that i think it's red mist aka squidward suicide he showed it to a 10 year old boy so don't 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 watch uh, don't <sighs> i'm starting right now because of that incident i'm i'm gonna do this at my own risk by the way Okay, so recording number three, July 18, 2009, at exactly 10.50 p.m., Patrick glitches out before entering the carnival, SpongeBob looks at the viewer creepily, and Nickelodeon gets shot down temporarily. That hijacker is an asshole. Okay, the video stopped and it's glitching. Oh, hi, SpongeBob. Oh, oh what, what are you gonna say? Uh oh, not good, not good. Definitely not good. Oh my god, you're disturbing and you killed your best friend. No signal. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, I don't like the music in the background. So as you can see right now, it says here, Nickelodeon was offline for a while, but eventually came back on and continued playing the event. But the damage was done. With viewership dropping 80% and many angry mothers called, demanding an explanation after hearing their children crying. Oh my gosh, I feel bad for them. More hijacks were reported to happen during ARG and the Secret Box. 
including more scary images, but they only lasted for 10 or so seconds. Footage of both incidents has yet to be found. However, the final and sixth one was found, which happened during the final episode of the entire event. And this one is bar far the creepiest. Oh dear. This is the most shittiest event of all time. The 10th anniversary that happened 15 years ago ends in disaster. Okay, recording number 4, July 19, 2009, 9.52pm. More scary images and audio played during to square pants or not to square pants. Low quality of video of a note appears with muffled screams and objects shattering. What's that sound? What's that sound? Oh, it's the music. My name is Pants? Squidward is an interesting new Spongebob. Bob. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh no! No! I don't want to see your creepy face, Spongebob! No! 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 He's crazy! so goddamn negative all the time day after day hour after hour you always expecting better i wish you would what i wish you would fat one shot your mouth and act like a decent human being for once in your life okay Think of the poor kids you've brainwashed with your festering attitude. I don't understand. Whoa! Next one. I'm ashamed to even be in the same planet as you are. On you. But I don't understand. On your, on your poor, poor baby, poor pitiful you. And are you sad? Over the what? Over the truth? You all are full. I don't understand. Grown adults acting like infants. It, it makes me sick. What's that sound? Wait, wait, what? Well, boo hoo. Fuck all of you. Fuck it all. You're all the reason. I released. You're the reason art is dead. What's that sound? I'm done. Fuck. What? Wait, I, I'm not done reading it. So, what might we play? Okay. The episode resumed as normal after that, and after the event ended, every form and video related to the hijackings were quickly deleted, presumably by Nickelodeon not wanting to be in the headlines. When? As for the hijacker, well, his name is Armand Raphael Ramsey. He was a former employee of Nickelodeon. At first, he claimed it was a joke, then later admitted that he planned to quit working for Nick, but wanted to take the company down with him and showed the viewers how he felt. Oh, I feel bad for this man, but this is still an excuse for what he did, okay? Even though we show sympathy, not just for food and other things that people are going through, it's still an excuse to hijack or hack.
He was restrained in the Nickelodeon corporate office and arrested on July 19, 2009. He was charged with computer tampering, sentenced to four years of probation, and fined two thousand dollars for the signal in two shots. Oh dear. This isn't good. Hijacking is the shittiest thing, okay? Overall, the sponge bash was a horrible mm -hmm. failure. Kids were traumatized and the hijacks ended up making it one of the worst SpongeBob marathons ever. Hope this video spread awareness of the incident. Cause this is creepy and needs to be more well known. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Oh! No, no, no. Oh my gosh. This is one of the most disturbing SpongeBob events. And I won't watch it again. Anyways, I might have nightmares of SpongeBob hunting me down after watching a 7 minute 58 second video. So, anyways, I'm tearing up right now because uh, these people are ruining everyone's childhood. Spongebob was their favorite and I'm not a fan of Spongebob when I was little because my doctor banned me due to Patrick's behavior. Anyways, I used to have a Patrick pillow before but it's no longer there anymore. Oh my gosh, what am I watching? I'm gonna have nightmare soon. You know what, I'm just gonna watch Roblox Piggy and other things instead of that. Because watching Hijack and Creepypasta actual footage videos. Oh my gosh. The stamina of my anxiety will go high. Look, I don't have anxiety, okay? I'm 30% anxious, 20% nervous, and 50% cautious. So that makes a hundred, okay? So right now, I have to calm myself down. Because last night, I slept at exactly 12.30 in the morning because my brother was sent to the hospital and he has problems to show. That's what happens if he eats mm. too much sweets. So everybody, if you're watching this, please pray for him, okay? Anyways, I have to end the video right now because it is, this video is about to end, you know what, never mind. I'm starting right now because of the video that I'm watching. So, thank you for watching. Give a like, share, subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell. Like what I said, comments are disabled and I'm truly sorry for that. So, that's it. Bye guys.